stuck. Diane Cambrel. It could be Le Bon Marché in Paris, Macy's, or Bergdorf Goodman in New York City, or even Harrods in London. But there I sit on a toilet in the middle of this large department store among elegant displays of perfume, jewelry, and makeup surrounded by hordes of busy shoppers. They see me, but thankfully no one stops to stare. I have no idea how I got into this hellish predicament, but I'm desperate to get out of it. I look around for toilet paper, but there isn't any. And even if there were, how could I use it? The thought of exposing my bare bottom to hundreds of strangers and wiping it in front of them is horrifying. No way. <laughs> the long blue cotton skirt that I'm wearing comes to my ankles, and it occurs to me that I could just get up and leave. But if I don't wipe, I can't bear the thoughts of what might be on the back of my skirt for all to see as I walk away. No, my pride will not allow me to move. I'm stuck on this toilet and may have to sit here forever or until I wake up. To survive this humiliating situation, I pretend I'm fine. I make eye contact with shoppers and even smile at them, all the while praying this is not the new normal. That scenario is a recurring dream, a nightmare that I've had off and on for years. The other evening, I'm wide awake watching TV when a commercial catches my attention. I don't know what product is being advertised because I can't get past the images in the ad. A woman sits behind her desk at work talking to a co-worker, but instead of a desk chair, she's sitting on a toilet. In another shot, she's driving along in her car, again sitting behind the wheel on a toilet. In the contest era of the 1950s and 60s, advertisers would hold contests for consumers, mainly housewives, to get ideas to sell more products. I'm wondering if somehow my subconscious has been mined for ideas. Scientists are on the verge of discovering why there is an imbalance of matter and antimatter. And the closest black hole to Earth has been found. These days, anything seems possible. As much as I would like to keep my dreams to myself, I fear it's too late. I've been mined.